back to my channel and in today's video I am going to do the makeup, no makeup look. Um, this is one of the looks that I basically wear like on the go when I am on a trip and I just don't have enough time. This is basically what I would do. I actually posted a photo on Instagram and you guys loved it and many of you asked me to recreate the look. So I hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial. It's very simple. It, sometimes we don't have the time. We honestly don't and we just have to have something on the go. So I feel like this is even perfect when you're going to work when you just don't have enough time obviously for the purpose of the video it took me a little long to record but when you honestly just master these steps you just like quick and 15 minutes you're out the door 10 minutes you're out the door and you're good to go so without further ado let's begin all right, so I'm going to start off by um, doing my brows and I'm using here my Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit Cosmetics in the shade number five. And I'm start off with by brushing them up with the spoolie on one side and then I move on to apply the pencil at the very top at the bottom and then I move up to the top of the brow and start giving it that nice arch because I am missing here at the top. So I just basically do light strokes and then after you apply the product you want to go ahead and grab like an angle brush and you want to make sure you spread the product throughout the whole brow all right so after i am done just basically spreading out the product throughout the whole brow i just go back to the pencil to do any last touch-ups look one eyebrow done and the other one not done it makes a difference now we're going to move on to the other brow to the gimme brow gel by benefit i really love this gel because it gives me like an extra color to the brow hair and it just helps the brow stay in place throughout the whole day this is when i want something just really minimal on my brow not too defined and just an extra boost all right let's move on to the foundation and i'm using this one by modus cosmetics it's called liquid powder mineral foundation and i'm showing you here that it's not super liquidy it's actually like a cream base and that's what i love about this foundation because it gives you like a nice like medium to full coverage if you build it up but also you can turn it into like a bb cream if you mix it with a little bit of moisturizer so that's why i love it so much and it's super definitely super easy to use you can even apply with your fingers if you want and here I'm just cleaning up the edges of my brow with that same foundation and just a flat brush so not necessarily have to use concealer you can also use a uh, foundation next up I'm going to use the H Rewind Concealer by Maybelline and I absolutely love this product because it's so uh, super easy to just apply it also corrects and highlights underneath the eyes and I just basically blend it out and I also apply a little bit on my lid because I want it to be a little bit brighter for this particular look I'm not applying any shadow because it's meant for on the go all right next up I am going to use the shishado translucent powder to set underneath my eyes to apply the translucent powder I'm using these brush that I've been obsessed with and this is by Crown Brush the number C499 and I love that it really apply that translucent powder very precisely and it gets into those corners so it really sets all the makeup underneath the eyes so I really love it for that and then I always suggest if you put a little bit of translucent powder on your lid since we apply foundation and concealer we want to avoid any creasing then I'm gonna move on to the bronzer and I'm applying Hoola bronzer by Benefit with this 20 brush by Kat Von D and this brush is absolutely stunning and not only that it's super soft and I absolutely love it and it just makes the product light on the skin very nicely so I am just buffing buffing that bronzer and also i would suggest you can put a little bit bronzer like all over um just basically like on your lid and then just all over your face to give you this nice like bronze effect and glowy effect you know what i mean like you just came out of like you just went to Miami and came back basically. We want that Miami glow, that Miami bronze. And you also want to put it on your temples and you can just spread a little bit right on the sides of your nose. And yeah, basically all over your face, if you know what I mean. 
Next up, I am going to apply this Hot Mama blush by The Bomb, which I absolutely love because it has like a speckles of gold. It's like a pink, but it also has some nice uh, like gold tones and it just gives you like a nice glow as well. I'm not into like matte blushes because I feel like they make me look so flat. So with that same brush that I used to apply the contour, I am going to apply that blush on the apples of my cheeks because we can't forget the blush. Next up, I am going to use the Joair New Highlighter in the shade um, Rose Quartz. Like, we can't walk out of the house without the highlight. Just skip the blush, but not the highlight. Um, but anyway, I'm going to use the Motives Fan Brush, and it just gives you like a nice, precisely application to where you want to place the highlighter. And that's why I love these fan brushes for that. All right, so it's time to make those cheekbones pop, and what I would suggest is either do the kissy face, fishy face, but it really makes a difference because it really um, helps you see where exactly to place, the high, to place the highlight if you don't know where it is, and you can really feel the bone popping out when you do those kind of faces. Okay, so it's time to move on to the eyes, and very simple, we're only going to use mascara. We don't have to do the eyes. Eyes is either you go all out or you don't do anything. That's just my opinion. So sometimes I just like when I don't have time, I just put mascara. Um, and that's what exactly that's what we're going to do right now. So but obviously we can't forget to first curl eyelashes. Very important if you want your lashes to give you that nice curl before applying the mascara. So that's what I'm going to do now. So after the lashes are well curled, I am going to use these two mascaras. I'm going to use first the Spider Effect Mascara from Maybelline. And they're actually both Maybelline. And I absolutely love this mascara because it gives me like that nice wispy, uh, kind of like what the name says, Spider Effect onto my lashes and I love that. Um, so I am going to apply this on the top. And then for the bottom, I am going to use the Push Up Angel Mascara. And I just love this mascara because of the brush. It really makes your lashes very elongated. And then you can actually use this brush to retouch your top lashes and it will spread them out even, even a lot more. And it will just make that nice all over spider effect. You can also just put a little bit of that highlighter right in the inner corner with like your finger just if you want a pop of color. There we go. And next up I am going to use the Darlingly Nude Lipstick by Maybelline. It's one of my favorites. It's matte. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing their name right. But it's the 655. And I'm going to apply this all over my lips. And I love the fact that their formula is not super dry. And it's actually very creamy when you apply it on the lips, which makes it comfortable and makes it handable throughout the whole day, which I really, really like. And next up is I'm just going to set my, my face with this Rose Water Setting Spray by Mario uh, Badescu. And that's it, guys. This is the end result. I hope you like it. You just throw your hair down, up whatever you want in a bun, and you're good to go. You're fresh you're ready, you're pretty, you're bronzy, you're glowing, and I really hope that you enjoy this makeup. So if you did, please don't forget to comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!